Okay, so we have Ian Asher. Uh, we have Terry Zong and SP19. All right, guys. All right. Ah, uh, they're back. They're back in their. Uh, they're back in their matching clothes era. I talked about this before as well. Uh, I really like when they match their clothes like this. It looks so nice. Uh, but I was a little. Uh, uh, I got a little invested too soon in in their in the ties they were wearing because they have like chains, right? They have chains hanging from their ties. Uh. It's in the moments when your face is next to mine and we don't show it, but we're thinking of the time. So put it in motion. Oh, mine and we don't show it. Is that water above them? Is that water, bro? What the heck? They look so good, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Ken Ken looks like a doll. But we're thinking of the time. So put it in motion. My desires taking over my emotions. My emotions. Won't you Ooh, Pablo's voice, man. But we're thinking of the time. So put it in motion. My desires taking over my emotions, my emotions. Look at their tie. They have like chains on their tie. That is, um, that is very special. I don't know what, like, that could like symbolize, you know, unity, being united. Like, chains, chains, you know, symbolizes unity. You know, people being united. Maybe that is what they're what, what they are trying to say, but I don't know. I don't know because all of them are wearing it as well. You know. <laughs> Bro, I love it. This is so good. <laughs> I love that part when he says, and I like, like, I, I love that part. Wait, listen, listen to it. That is so nice. Holy shit. Damn. Ken? Ken looks like he's angry at me. Can I just say something? Out of all uh out of all these members, Justin looks like he is the most polite. Do you guys agree with me? Justin looks the most innocent out of all of them. Justin Justin looks like he, he never says a curse word. You know, he never cusses. He looks like he, he has never said what the fuck in his life. He's Justin probably says like what the flip. <laughs> he probably says like what the heck. <laughs> This literally looks like a zombie dance. Look at this.
The, their dance moves are a little special compared to uh, compared to their other dances. they I don't uh, they have like water above their head um it looks very aesthetically pleasing but I'm I am having a hard time understanding the concept of this I don't know do you guys know any ideas is is there like a deeper thought behind the location of the video and and the special type of ties that they are wearing and stuff like that maybe my maybe it's obvious and my brain is just too cooked to get it all right so they they are in a swimming pool and the water is above their head and the song's name is moonlight and they are wearing ties with chains on it. I'm having a trouble connecting all of these. <laughs> you know, so that's why they're not singing. I don't know. I don't know. I I get I get I get that concept, but they are holding their breath. Okay, I get that. I get that concept, but. What does that have to do with Moonlight? You know what I mean? Or maybe it doesn't need to be connected. Maybe it's just... Yeah, maybe I'm just thinking too deep into it. I love that part. Bro, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy that um, they are so capable of making songs that are so mainstream. Because it just boosts their chances of getting the global attention that they that they deserve, you know. So this is this is what they need to do, you know. Just making globe like songs that can be listened to by by anyone you know like if you think about it this song is so mainstream 
and I just hope that you know it one of these songs because they have other songs as well that are very mainstream I just hope that you know one of these days you know they they go viral globally that would be so fucking nice but they need to do more of this man they need to do more of this uh, and I hope they do man because they are capable they are that's and that's what bothers me so much about about this industry you have a group of guys here who are so talented and they are so capable uh, of making actual hits if you think about it this song is a fucking hit this is a banger the melodies in this song uh the delivery uh, even the video it's so unique in my eyes that i can't help but think anyone any any other big american artist doing the same thing i swear to god it would become like a billboard hit like just imagine just imagine like Katy Perry you know if Katy I don't know if that's how you say it is it Katy or yeah Katy Perry right if she would make if she would have made this song like look at this in 10 days in 10 days this has gotten 2.1 million views if Katy Perry would have made the song exact same lyrics exactly the same and everything bro you know what I mean these guys deserve so much more I swear man because this is actually quality this is quality you know so beautiful man oh man it, it pisses me off it pisses me off every time they are showing how good they are because then i'm thinking why the fuck aren't they bigger than than this Oh, I love that dance. I love it, man. <laughs> oh. Damn. Wait, where is Ken? Oh, there. It looks like a zombie dance. I swear, man. Like the way they're flopping like around like this. It looks like a zombie dance. Bro. The dance, the dance is fire. I agree with you. Melinda. Thank you, Melinda. And welcome. Welcome, Melinda. Um, yeah, man, the dance moves, I love the fact that, uh, they were so different from their other videos and their other dance, uh, choreographies, uh, it stands out, you know, this dance move, if you think about the era that we live in today with, with TikTok, um, being the biggest platform right now, right, um, and, uh, TikTok, Especially things like this dance moves that look nice and are unique, they go viral on TikTok, man. This type of stuff goes viral on TikTok. Uh, so I just, I just hope that people start to actually make videos of this song and recreate the dance moves that they see in, in the video, because this, bro, this song has so much potential, man. It's actually like a really good song man you know and this is exactly what they need to do man this is exactly what they need to do mainstream songs catchy uh, dance moves and tiktok is gonna do the rest of the job for you i swear to god man the amount of pe people that have gotten global fame from tiktok 
and not being even close to the uh, to the talent that SP19 has, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. It's in the moments when your face is next to mine and we don't show it, but we're thinking of the time. So put it in motion. My desires taking over my emotions, my emotions. Want you in every way. Want you. It's it's so good, man. Like what? Like, I'm just hearing the melodies, you know, the pattern of the melodies. And it it's so, it sounds so pleasing. Over my emotions, my emotions. Want you in every way. Want you to scream my name. Wrap my hands around your waist. Yeah, Bro, it's so good, man. This song is so good. Where is Ken? Oh, he's in the middle. <laughs> you know what I know for a fact that in this scene I know for a fact that <laughs> this this particular dance move right here everyone just looked at their bias doing it everyone was like where is Ken where is Josh where is Pablo So, guys, what I want to know is how well has the song uh, done this far? How well has it done this far uh, in terms of in terms of streams? And let me check it out. Actually, oh shit! You know what, man? That is really nice. That is really nice. On on uh, on Spotify, it has two point six million streams already. Um, and on YouTube as well, man. On YouTube, it has two point one million streams. Someone said it's top one in ten countries. Is that true? Is that actually true? Is Moonlight top one in 10 countries? 
Bro, I hope that is true, man. I hope that is true. That's that is huge. That is huge. SP 19s Moonlight ranks number one in nine countries. <laughs> yes, yes. That's that's exactly what I what I want, man. Wait, the P-pop kings have achieved another mi milestone as the single Moonlight top music charts in nine countries after its release. <laughs> According to the group's post on X, the collaboration song with Ian Asher uh, and Terry Zong ranked number one in music charts in music charts in the Philippines, Singapore, Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia. These Arab countries listen to SB19, man. So, bro, Saudi Arabia, UAE, uh, Qatar. What the hell? Aside from his chart topping performance, his official music video has garnered over 1 million views on YouTube. Yes, 2.1 actually. Get your facts right. 